This article came out about your auntie in the Rolling Stone magazine on January 17th. Yeah, something maybe a lot of you don't know about aunties. I'm a realtor. Something I know all y'all know is I'm a conspiracy theorist. Oh yeah. I don't talk about my job on this app. But if you were an OG auntie follower, you knew my screen name used to be Realtor Chick. But I changed it to Auntie Coulette when I started to go viral for my advice videos and I became the cool TikTok auntie. And since starting on this app in 2020, sharing videos, I've never used this app, this platform for my real estate. And I don't want to. Now, if you were to ask me in 2020, how I would have felt about that article coming out about me, I would have been scared, I would have been mortified. Or me in 2018, 17, 2016, yeah, same thing. In fact, I worked so hard, so incredibly hard to keep up my appearance as the well put together real estate agent on my Facebook, my Instagram. I was always so afraid of even letting a sliver of who I was through affecting my business. Y'all know I've been a psychic since I was four years old and I'm not really running around shouting from the rooftops or telling my clients, yo, did you know? Mm -mm. But all of my close friends and families, my loved ones, they knew. But when it came to my social media, I was always so worried that any side of me, any part of me, anything I believed or was could potentially affect or damage my business. I was so incredibly careful about how I posted let alone how I look. You would never catch me in my bedhead without makeup posting on Facebook, and no thank you. You see, I'm a real estate agent, but I also am very well known in my community. I'm born and raised here, sixth generation. My husband and I own a little local pub here, and we own a welding company. But ask me how I feel about that article now. I think it's incredible. You see, in 2020, when I started to share videos on TikTok, I had just downloaded the app in 2019 after Tom Ferry, an incredible coach in real estate, who's a friend, but he's amazing, he is a mogul. At a convention in California, he told all of us agents, download TikTok, it's the next thing. Tom's smart, yo. But I knew TikTok as that app that my niece was on 24 seven at a very young age doing dances and this and that, and she'd show me about 300 of them a day. <laughs> and I knew in Elko, nobody was downloading TikTok other than kids. So ultimately I downloaded it because Tom said so, but I knew I would never use it for my business, at least not at that time, because like I said, no adults in Elko had TikTok in 2019 or 2020. After my cancer surgery and I was a watcher of videos on TikTok for a while, it dawned on me, you need to start sharing your incredible stories of survival, of your medical stories, your incredible, like I said, stories of survival. But more importantly, you need to start sharing these stories to teach people, get a second opinion. Had I gotten a second opinion, I would not be in this state today. As soon after my failed fusion and the internal decapitation and fixing my neck with the seven level posterior fusion, my new surgeon looked at my way old scans and told me, oh my God, you never needed that for a surgery in the first place. And now because of that surgeon who did that unnecessary surgery and then covered up my failed fusion until there was no bone left around my six screws, he ultimately also is the reason I ended up with cancer in 2020. After biopsying the sarcoma, this very rare sarcoma, it was discovered it was called what's called <laughs> a trauma-induced sarcoma brought on by the multiple surgeries I've had to have in my neck. And that's a real stinging moment when you find out you have lost a lot of your, a lot of the things that made you you, you can no longer do. And you're gonna live in daily constant pain. Some days are excruciating. You lose function in most of your left arm. You lose your whole left trap to cancer. And you'll be fighting this cancer the rest of your life, all because of one man's mistakes. But more so, it stings because those were mistakes made because I had a surgery I never had to have in the first place. So that's why I got onto this app. And I'm so grateful that I did. But if you were to tell me, hey, Colette, everyone in Elko has TikTok, ask me if I would have been posting videos in my bedhead and no makeup. Ask me if I would have eventually come out and been honest. Yeah, I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium. Ask me if I would have been all the incredible sides of me that I've had to hide, or at least I thought I did as a professional that I have been here on this app that makes me the genuine, real, raw, good, bad, and ugly me that I am. Ask me if I would have been able to be me in 2020 had I known everybody in my community had this app. Probably not. And ooh, am I glad that this happened this way. And I'm about to explain to you why. That article, this app, 
and one email that I just received from another realtor just made me realize all of these things have taught me one of the most incredibly beautiful and valuable things. One of the best lessons in this lifetime I will probably ever learn, but we'll get to that in just a second. I received this email the other day. Dear Auntie, thank you for having the self-confidence to be yourself and to share what you believe. I can't tell you how many Facebook posts I've blocked some people from seeing certain content on my personal page because I worry about it affecting my business or my realtor image. Ha, what a joke that's become. You're my new hero and my example to stop worrying if my business or industry standing will suffer because of what other people think. Congrats on your Rolling Stone article. You go, girl. Kim Young. Y'all, when I tell you, after reading that email, I cried. No, because it hit me. A lesson I had learned, but I had yet to have figured out that I'd even learned it. You see, let me go back a little bit. When I started on this app, knowing that nobody in my community, nobody, no potential future clients, nobody from Elko was on TikTok. I shared every quirky, witty, dorky thing that made me me. Bedhead, no makeup and all. I found a place where I could always just be genuinely me. The psychic, the conspiracy theorist, the critical thinker, the mm, mad face, mm, mad face laugh snorting ant that you know, the vulnerable, the honest about everything that is Colette, the raw, real auntie that is me. And like I said, had people in Elko had this app at that time because of my fear, just like Kim, that these things might have damaged my career or my real estate standing, I would have never shared. Not at all. Because I had the same fear as Kim. But fast forward a year and a half, maybe two years after I got onto TikTok, after I had gone viral and gained a large following, people in Elko started to download the app. And if you have been following me since the beginning, you can attest to one thing, one absolute thing that is true. Even though I knew people in my town were starting to watch, and maybe in the back of my mind I thought, mm, could this affect my real estate business? There was no way, no way in H-E double hockey sticks that I would ever alter or change or minimize the true Colette that I am, the person that you see here on this app. Mm -mm. And the most beautiful lesson that I have learned is you guys love me. You accept me. Many tell me they look up to me, but ultimately you guys love me. The me that you see in this screen, well, it's the same me that Uncle Mike lives with every day and the same me that Auntie Andrea was best friends with for 25 years. This is the me that is me, good, bad, and ugly. And you guys not only accept me, but ultimately, like I said, you love me. And I love you so very much. Now I bet there's a question that you guys are all dying to know the answer to. Well, Auntie, did this, did this affect your real estate career at all? No. Well, yeah. You see, Auntie's always been a top agent. And let's just put it this way. I am still a top agent to this day. In fact, I get very excited home buyers or sellers. They say, oh my God, I'm so excited to meet you. And there's just a tone in their voice when I realize, oh, they see me on TikTok. So yeah, ultimately, it's kind of done wonders for my career. But that's not why I'm on this app. It's an absolute blessing, and I'm so very grateful. But I am even more so grateful now for TikTok for one reason. For giving me a place where I could just be me. All of me. One million percent Colette. Everything that makes me who I am. Thank you for not only giving me a platform to be able to do this, but thank you so much for teaching me. There has never been any part of me that I should have ever been ashamed of. There has never been a part of Colette that I should have tucked or hid away. Well, I don't know, some of my bedhead, you know, it's pretty questionable. <laughs> but really, honestly, there's never been a part of me that I needed to hide at all. In fact, I'm pretty proud of the person that I am. So please think of your doctors, your lawyers, your accountants, your realtors, and be easy on them. Remember, they are humans. They are real people. You do not want a robot. That will come in time, trust and believe, and you'll miss us. Let them be who they are. You don't want some boring fuddy-duddy. It's time to raise that stigma, and I hope that I can spearhead that movement. So thank you. Thank you for teaching me the most valuable lesson I think I've ever learned. There has never been a part of me I've ever had to hide. I just didn't know that until TikTok. And thank you for teaching me also that I am quite lovable. Well, that was awkward and embarrassing, but you know what I mean. Thank you for accepting me so I can teach others the same valuable lesson. They don't have to hide away. I love you.